Hello, welcome to Fanthatrax TV. It's time for another unboxing video. Today we're going to be having a look at the Black Series Carbonized Second Sister Inquisitor. But before we do um, the usual thing of don't forget to subscribe to the channel and thank you if you have already. Uh, we have new videos out every Wednesday and every Saturday and if something exciting happens then we try and put that in between as well. Um, yep, yeah, so today we're looking at the Carbonized seven, Second Sister. Um, there is a companion video to this that has the standard one in there that will be unboxed as well. Um, and then I will, in both videos, try and do a comparison as to what they look like. If you want to know about Carbonized, I'll put a link in both the bit at the bottom and also in this video to where we've got the guys from Hasbro explaining why things are Carbonized and why they're so special. All right, get rid of that one. On to this. Let's have a look at the box. So it is a standard box, but it's got this lovely chrome metallic-y type feel to it. And look, on the front, as you can see, there she is in her plastic prison, uh, looking pretty good. I think the carbonized thing works really well on there. And it says, carbonized graphite, Doo -doo -doo, there. Black series, second sister Inquisitor, and from the game, Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. On the side, we can see it's number 95, second sister Inquisitor. Says that at the bottom there as well. And then on the bottom, for all you fans of the barcode, there's the barcode. That zoomed in nicely. And then on this side, you can see it says second S, but with second sister Inquisitor in red and nothing on the top. And then on the back, we got number 95, the second sister Inquisitor with a lovely bit of artwork. Again, slightly shiny. And it says a vengeful warrior in the empire tasked with tracking down Jedi survivors. The second sister Inquisitor is driven by her all-encompassing hatred of the Order. So she's got a chip on her shoulder. Has she got a chip on the shoulder of the figure we've got? Well, I shall unbox and have a look. Right, so there she is. She's out of the box and she's ready to be popped out. Now let's see if I can break her as I do this. Uh, out comes her lightsaber spinny thing. There we go. That's out with a nice little bit of chrome on there. She looks like she's actually got one of those plastic things attaching her in, so I might have to have a crack at that in a second. Are these face guards? Who knows? I shall have a look in a second. Looks like it could be. Do, do, do. Put that on there. That one comes off there. Now let's see how easy it is to take her out, because it really does look like one of those plastic clips, which I was not expecting in a figure. Ah, it certainly is. I'm gonna have to give that a good yank. Oh my goodness. Wish I had got a knife with me. There you go, fingers under. Go on. Yay, there you go. And out she comes. Cape and all. Boom, knock that over as well. There you go, brute force wins the day. So let's have a quick look at her. Do, 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 as I bring that into focus, there she is. So what we have is articulation on the helmet. Cape does indeed come off, so I shall take that off. And I think those are actually shoulder pads which go on in a second. Again, this chrome metallic finish on there looks good. Articulation on the shoulders, on the elbows, on the hands. Same on the other side. Torso does also move a little bit, but it's a bit tight. Thighs, knees, and feet. Like I say, these look actually like shoulder pads, he says. I could be wrong, but I think they are. Yeah, they look like they go on there. So I should do that for the posing. And she has her weapon here as well, looking pretty good. So I shall um, get her in the poses, and also you can have a look at her in comparison to the regular figure. So here we go. Here is the comparison between the two. You'll see them better in the poses. I will put them together so you can see them in the light box. But as you can see, the carbonized version has this metallic sheen to the second sister Inquisitor. Um, and as we know from the Hasbro guys, there's no what's called base color on this. The, every part of this figure is painted, which is kind of cool. Looks really nice and shiny, um, which is nice, but the figure itself identical. And it's really about whether you like the chrome or not, the, the, the shiny effect. I quite like it, but uh, like I say, we'll do some comparisons in the light box and you can see it better. Talking of light box, let's get her into the poses.
Salutations. Uh, hello, chaps. Uh, great that you watched the video. Really pleased that you uh, took the time to watch it. Now, if you liked it, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and uh, tell all your friends. Uh, subscribing is good because we have new videos every Wednesday, every Saturday, so don't miss out.